Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Thursday, March 9th. Let's see what today's energy is all about. Thanks to all the views um, and the comments and the likes. Appreciate it. Um, and uh, please give more comments. I always enjoy the comments. I've got a bunch of cards that just fall out. I'm just going to take it because I was talking. So, oh, there's, like I said, a bunch of cards. I'm going to put this one up here. So, let's see what today's energy is all about. Got six cards. Six is about harmony, balance, balance, three and three. And um, it's, it's also a sign, you know, this is the third month. This is March, third month of the year. Just feel like three is a very significant time right now. Three is a manifestation time. Three is a time for understanding that there is a, there, there's three parts of us. There's mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, and soul, however you want to say it. But there, three is a is a very um, manifestation type of number. So if you're seeing threes, um, pay attention to that. Pay attention to what it is that you're being called to next. So now we have three and three, thirty-three. However you want to see it. Um, so let's see. Let's see what the cards are. I just thought that was very interesting how that came up. We have an Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, Three of Cups. You got two threes right off the bat in a one. So before I go any further, this first line, this is about a new beginning. Ace is number one, new beginning cup of love, using your intuition to um, guide yourself with the heart, with the emotions, because here's your heart and here's your emotions. Um, let's use your intuition when we go through difficult situations. Um, let's not do any self type of any type of self punishment. Let's be good to ourselves. Let's embrace the events as the cycles go by in our life. The moon cycles, but there's cycles in every single day. We go through a cycle, and let's celebrate. Let's be happy about our life. Let's look at um, these obstacles or challenges as opportunities to live the best possible life that we can possibly live in the moment based on whatever whatever's going on. So threes are very significant in this reading overall um, because it wants you to transform. It wants you to have a new beginning and how you view things. There's an I here. It's, it's you now using... Uh, viewing things through the eyes of God, the eyes of the universe, and knowing all is well and everything that is unfolding in your life. Everything is happening for you. You need to understand that. The universe is telling you everything is happening for you, not to you. Very key. Let's see what else we got. Now I've got Ten of Swords, which reduces to a one. The Emperor. And the Empress. This is another new beginning. Taking back your power. Working with the masculine and divine masculine and divine feminine aspects of your body, of your soul. That there's two hemispheres of your body. There's the masculine side, which is the right side, and then there's the feminine side, which is the left side of your body. We're reducing this to the one because we're getting out of our head. We're now allowing this integration of a higher perspective into our world. We're allowing this energy to filter down, to rejuvenate us, to give grace. Deers represent grace. Whenever you see deers in, in nature, it's a time to pause and reflect upon the beauty and the grace of them and their ability uh, to be so graceful in, in their everyday life. Um, so this overall reading is about you stepping into a higher power, higher version of yourself through the, your, your own higher self of that of which is the universe and that of which is God or whoever it is you believe in. Um, it's a higher version of yourself. This creates opportunities. This is opportunity. This isn't challenge anymore. This isn't um, obstacle anymore. This is opportunity to free yourself from any type of limitations or to at least have the emotional um, intelligence 
emotional um, courage and strength to free yourself to live a more happier and fulfilling life, one to celebrate, one to pour and replenish that cup of love for yourself over and over and over again. That takes a lot of practice. It also takes a lot of courage to, to focus the, the goodness on yourself. That means stepping out of other people's issues. It means stepping back from other things that cause drama or chaos in your life and focusing more upon what feels good and replenishing that goodness every single time. Stepping out of the mental, um, ish, you know, the, the, the mental strain and the, um, the, the heart, the, the defeating, this is a very defeating and limited mindset. Swords is mind, is thinking. And then empowering yourself with both aspects, the divine feminine, which is soft and allowing, and the, and the divine masculine, which is courageous and supportive. Very interesting re reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed Oh, this is a three as well. Look at that. She's a three. So you got your three threes right here. Just now saw that. So um, brand new beginnings. It's all about empowering yourself. It's all about changing your mindset to enjoy life enjoy what is coming up for you did you hear that for you not to you very key in this in this reading hope this helps have an amazing day thanks so much bye